Hi, welcome to a product review by Robojax. My name is Ahmad Shamshiri. This review is presented from Canada. In this review, we are going to have a look at a TF Mini Plus LiDAR sensor by Biniwig. This is a great product with price of $46 US. It has a range of 12 meters. This is unbelievable range that I have seen so far with this price that you can get. We're going to test it and see how it behaves. We're going to test the hardware, software, and uh, we'll provide you the link. Let's get started with this. Here's the package for TF Mini Plus. Let's open it. Some wires. quality certificate sheet and uh, nothing else and this is the sensor so they have sent the connector with this So this can be connected in here and we have this header pen that you can insert it to breadboard or directly to Arduino or Raspberry Pi maybe. Length of this one is 35 millimeter exactly. 18.4 millimeter is the height. Depth is 21.1 millimeters. It comes with a 30 centimeter wire and the black and red are the 5 volts and these two are TX RX. This is UART version. This is also offered in uh, I2C version as well. And if you want to know the weight, it weighs 13.5 grams. Anyway, official website. Let me select English. This is the official website and this is the page for the TEF Mini Plus LiDAR module. And here are the, the specs, operating range 0.1 to 12 meters, so this is 10 centimeters to 12 meters. The frame rate is 1 to 1000 hertz, 1 kilohertz, it can be UART or um, I square C, operating temperature minus 20 to 60 degrees accuracy plus minus one percent that's nice waterproof dust proof you click on this download document download page so these are this is the manual this is the data sheet and this is the software that you need to program and use this so now let's download the software i'm opening the folder this is a RAR file. I have uh, seven zip installed, so I'm right clicking, going seven zip and extract to this folder. It creates a folder GUI, graphical user interface. And here is the file that you run .exe, this one with the icon. Let's have a look at the data sheet. As you can see the range is 0.1 meter which is 10 centimeter to 12 meters. If the surface has 90% reflectivity but if the reflectivity is reduced thing it will be decreased to 10 to 4 uh, meter amount of lux also affects it. Accuracy is plus minus 5 centimeter at 10 centimeter to 5 meter and longer than five meters the accuracy increases it becomes 
one percent plus minus is one centimeter so you cannot see this between centimeters frame rate these are the two values if you use i square c this is a frame rate and if you use uart this is a frame rate central wavelength is 850 nanometers and at 5 volts average current is smaller than 110 milliampere that's imp very important manual so the distance is calculated using this formula the radius of the light that hits the object is 36 centimeter another important table that at 12 meter remember 36 centimeter was the center of it so you need at least 72 centimeter coverage of an object so it can measure 12 meter but if the object gets smaller and smaller this is the radius of the light in order to hit and measure it will be decreased for example at 2 meter we can detect an object of 18 centimeter I have this USB which I'm going to use for this purpose. This is a CP2102 from Silicon Lab. You can use any other USB that you have, doesn't matter, but we just need TX, RX, and 5 volts. And here is the wiring now. The red is the red red is the power supply, black on the other side is red is 5 volts, black is ground, and white is RX, and then this is TX. Now let's prepare this. I've connected this wire, so the wiring is such that this two are, this is five volts, black is ground. I'm connecting it to my wiring. My blue is a ground and five volt is this, the second one. And from here I have TX, the TX will be connected to RX of this. So TX to RX, RX to TX. And here, if you pay attention here, our X is white. So I'm getting this white from this, connecting it to TX of my module, which is white. And then, of course, the other pen will be here, and it's done. Let's open Device Manager, right-click, go Device Manager. And under the ports, collapse this, and this is my USB UART for COM4. Now let's open the software and then click on exe file when cctf. This is a screen that opens from the product, select the product. In this case TF Mini Plus and from here COM4 is my port here this is now facing up and here I am connecting this USB the wires are connected through this cable this is now facing up connect and as you can see it shows 96 centimeter let me move it as soon as I move it it shows it went 260 2.6 meter and it came back now it's again around 270 2 meter 70 and let me go further so the end of the wall there is a curtain it's around 3 meter if I do not move it as you can see it's very steady and let me point it to the computer screen it shows around 30 centimeter and let me point it down I can select the refresh rate let's say 50 and it will refresh very fast 
that can go even faster 250 so as you can quickly move it left and right up and down you can see if I hold this steady you will see steady value let's point it to the ceiling and this is the object let's put it now I'm holding it around 30 centimeters so it's pretty much fast in terms of response now we can also save the data in a file if you want to analyze it I call it YouTube test and if I want time stamp, time stamp as well it will be with the time let's put it and then record now it will create file I'm going to show you next so all these values will be recorded there so I'm, I'm holding it in one spot for longer period and then changing another value and pointing it to another and then to the wall to the curtain to computer screen now if I point it to the window outside what happens it goes to the glass uh, by the way so it works with the glass 120 centimeter this is a glass so it can measure the glass that's uh, many people might ask and let's see on this side is 28 and I this side on this side is around 26 let me put an object at zero so it's 26 and 28 we will look at it later so this is my last value fluctuating and then finished so now if I click on my folder here there will be a folder called data let's click it has already created the file for us YouTube dash test and then they put the value 2248 that's the time and then 11 that's the second let's open it and here are the values it shows distance this is 100 31 in centimeter strength of the signal echo and then timestamp 120 centimeter so you can export it also to excel let me open excel after removing a notepad plus plus all the spaces and replacing them with a tab i was able to copy and paste it in a proper format and now let's plotted and here is the chart that I made from the data that we have collected and here if you want to freeze it you can just press freeze it will be just frozen and if you want to defreeze it it will continue and clear it will clear it now if i move it you will see it's very responsive you can do right click and then copy screen so this will copy it and you can paste it on clipboard or save it but there is a bug for uh, if, if you scroll it's supposed to work so if i scroll you see this error there is a bug and if you say ignore it comes back ignore and now it's not working even disconnect and connect it not it will not work i have to close it down reopen it again hopefully this time it gets connected
Thank you for watching. This was the review of Biniwig uh, TF Mini Plus Lader with a range of up to 12 meters. Uh, if you like this video and learn something, please thumb up. If you have comment or question, post it in the comment section below. I try to answer and reply. And make sure to subscribe so you can get updates of my upcoming videos, and especially if I have something like this.